Overcoming great odds, Simone Biles is the most decorated American gymnast in history. At this stage of her career, Simone Biles is the greatest gymnast ever in the sport's rich history. You're representing your nation, you selfish, you selfish sociopath. You kidding me? With Republicans choosing to downplay her glory at every turn. The impacts of this man's abuse are not ever over or forgotten. She has been through hell and back in her career. We are raising a generation of weak people like Simone Biles. But conservatives like Charlie Kirk, the dude who complains of weakness. About a year ago, I could barely walk down the street or sit in a chair for more than 10 minutes without horrible pain. And now look at me. I'm here to tell you about Relief Factor. I was skeptical too. Cuts ads for how weak he is. And this time around, it's like being intentional, going to therapy, making sure everything is aligned so that I can do the best in in the gym and be like a good wife, good daughter, good friend, all of the good things. Biles, through all her glory, has been ridiculed by right-wing media because she was not in the correct headspace during the Olympics. I think this is a this is a massive issue for the United States uh, women's Olympics uh, gymnastics team that she's decided to quit in the middle of competition. We've never seen this happen. I don't think it's heroic. I don't think that she should be praised for it. If she didn't want it, she could have not started the competition. I think quitting during the middle of the competition is the foundational uh, effort level that we expect from all of our Olympic athletes. Ah, yes. Clay Travis. He works for Fox. Like, I would right. have said something, but it, I, I'm on their field, on their turf. It's They invited me to be like, hey, that Fox guy that you had on Fox, he's a bigger hypocrite than LeBron, which he is. I mean, he is. Republican, he, 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 he's a Democrat. I mean, Clay Travis is a Democrat and pretends to hate like black people because he thinks that sells books. Who has been exposed many times over. Biles is a household name, a larger than life figure. Though she only stands at four foot eight. Yet for one outlet, she, well, isn't. Take the Wall Street Journal. Founded way back when, in 1889, the paper celebrates leading the way in chronicling the rise of industries in America and around the world. Thus, they ran a piece titled this, Simone Biles is officially the most decorated gymnast in history after she won the all-around for the sixth time and bagged her 37th medal. It was a piece thoroughly detailing her career her rehabilitation, therapy, and much more. There was one issue, though. When they tweeted out the article, those at the journal made a costly error. The picture seen right here is not of Simone Biles. That's Shiley's Jones, 2023 World Team Champ, 2023 U.S. Uneven Bars Champ, 2022 World Team Champ, and 2022 U.S. Uneven Bars and Floor Exercise Champ. After all of this occurred, Biles, with more than a million followers on Twitter, took to the dying platform and tweeted, this isn't even me, try again. The Wall Street Journal would delete it. The journal, though, was not alone in the air. And I'll show you. Reuters was founded in 1851. They are widely viewed as a respected news source for its objectivity. They, too, did not check their intel on this dais. Tweeting an article about Biles with, once again, Shiley's Jones. This is sadly a theme in media. A, to be honest with you, horrendous theme in media that needs to be checked. And also, these wrongs need to be righted. Righted? Is that it? They just need to be corrected. Essence Magazine tweeted out this article. You may notice, um, that's not Simone Biles. Again, it is Simone Manuel. Recall when NPR ran a story of Maria Taylor, but they used ESPN NFL insider Kimberly A. Martin as the cover photo. Shout out to those Jordans that you wear, by the way. They are fantastic. This one, this one, no words. Then there was ESPN, the worldwide leader, confusing two chains and future in an Instagram post. Jasmine Watkins, Hall of Fame follow, would write, diversify your social teams. If you know who Josiah Johnson is, you should know who Jasmine Watkins is. In addition, ESPN would do a story of the Chinese Davis Cup team with the accompanying photo of the Japanese national team. 
The National Post, a Canadian outlet, did a story on Donald Brashear. Only problem was the top picture was not Donald Brashear. In fairness, Kathy Johnson would take to Twitter and own it. She would write this. My heartfelt apology for sharing something that was clearly insensitive to Simone Biles and every black athlete who has had an incorrect photo assigned to them. It was unintentional, but I accept responsibility for seeming not to know better, especially when I actually do know better. 